Hey everyone, Simon Says Money here. Welcome back to another video. I want to make a quick video March 14th, 2021 before the trading week because I want to tell you guys two small cap stocks that may take off this week. Now before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor or CPA. Please make your own investment decision. Now let's go ahead and crush it this week. Let's make some money. Now let's get into this video. The first stock of these two is AVO Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol AVEO. AVO Pharmaceuticals is a biopharmaceutical company that develops and commercializes a portfolio of targeted medicines for oncology and other areas of unmet medical needs. Looking at their website here, we have the product page. We can see different pipelines, different phases, stages of their products that are going on. And we can see that preclinical phase one, phase two, three, we have two that are already in the market, TiVo 1 and TiVo 3. The FDA has given its approval for AVO Pharma's drug Tivozanib, the company's drug for the third and fourth line treatment of advanced renal cell carcinoma, as known as RCC, earlier than the March 31st designated PDUFA date. With FDA approval in place, AVO stock could be worth $27 or higher now. Tip ranks also gives AVEO share price target of $22.75, which is pretty conservative, but still a 83% higher than its current share price of $12.44. Bar chart gives a 100% buy rating, and at CNBC, three analysts gives a strong buy rating, and one analyst gives a buy rating. I believe that AVEO share price will surge the next couple days, so be on a watch out. Put this on your watch list and let's see if this can really get some heat, some volume into the stock, some money into the stock. Today's second small cap pharmaceutical companies is Caladrius Biosciences, a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company that focuses on developing and commercializing cellular therapies to reverse disease and or promote the regeneration of damaged tissue. Last week, Caladrius Biosciences announced that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has granted orphan drug designation to the company's CD34 Plus cell therapy product CLBS12 for the treatment of Berger's disease, also known as thromboangitis obliterans, a condition related to critical limb ischemia, as known as CLI, with no approved treatments to date in the U.S. This is very significant news. The good news immediately prompted tip ranks analysts to give CLBS share price a $10 target, increased by $2. This is a 360% higher than the current share price of $2.17. Three other analysts gives a $6 and a $7 price target. Bar chart gives a buy rating with current direction strengthening rating. In fact, three days ago, I just analyzed CLBS, and I believe that CLBS has the momentum to go up for the next couple weeks. Those are my two stocks, CLBS and AVEO. This week, a lot of Americans should be getting their stimulus check, which are coming out pretty soon. So we all know where that's going to go. Just like last spring, people put it into the stock market. So be on a lookout for the stock market and inflow of volume of extra cash because people who are proactive on their retirement and wants to invest like me want to put it in the stock market because they have those extra cash. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Those are my two biopharmaceutical small cap companies that you should be on a lookout this week. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to crush this week's in the stock market.